Hello. Good morning. Don't mind me. Uh, <laughs> so, so Revenge of the Colon. Fucking hell, I, I actually had to say that. <laughs> Revenge of the Colon. <laughs> uh, it's got this weird, like, quirky thing where, uh, it, um, it, like, it won't let me tab out of it at all. Uh, so, like, that's why I've got VetoTube, like, pulled up in the background there, so ignore that. Uh, we are playing Revenge of the Colon, I just had to wait until, like, the very moment that I started playing, because it's gonna, it, it won't let me tab out without having to do, like, key combos and all that junk. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, that'll, that'll be fun. Otherwise, uh, this will be a pretty shitty game, pun intended. Not looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm gonna get it pulled up now, and hope that I look over and it it tabs over correctly. Um, I that's huh. That that didn't do what it was supposed to do. Um. Alt tab. Uh, let me let me go back into properties. Why is why is this not doing great? Interesting. Yeah, why, why is it not... Huh. Oh, today you broke your leg. That's too bad. Hope you, uh, hope you get well soon. Try and stay off it if you can. Uh, why is this not... Hmm. Weird. Oh, you're still sick? That, uh... That sucks. Sorry to hear that. Um... Weird. Yeah, this isn't, um, this isn't going very well. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's VedoTube. That's Revenge of the Colon. Weird. Um, am I gonna have to... Am I gonna have to, like... mess around with settings um i don't know how to computer <laughs> what if i hide that no that that gets rid of yeah that that gets rid of everything um what if i close out of vado tube So I've I've disappeared for the time being. Um oh boy. Uh hey Revenge of the Colon. You're not who I need right now. Uh alt tab. Minimize. I'm trying to reopen Vado Tube if you don't mind. Interesting. Huh. No face to the voice. We've come back to the dark ages. Um, shoot. Yeah, I don't really know how to go about fixing this. No, oh, no, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Um... Uh, no, Revenge of the Colon is actually open. I don't need that running twice. Okay, thanks. I needed VedoTube. Oh, hi, Revenge of the Colon. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not doing that right now. Oh, Jesus. Now my, <laughs> now my, um, now 
now uh now OBS is all over the place. Uh oh that's that's not what I wanted. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> this is uh this is problematic. Oh 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 there we go, I fixed that. Yeah, let me let me get that moved back over. Okay, so that's that's resolved. That's groovy. Um but why why isn't uh why isn't Revenge of the Colon doing right? Properties. Yeah, Revenge of the Colon, capture method, automatic, match title. Yeah, we're 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 back. Um Yeah, little little guy's back. <laughs> uh Otherwise, find window of same executable? No. Multi-adapter compatibility? No. Uh, weird. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't know how to fix this. What if I... What if I close Revenge of the Colon? Okay, yeah, what if I do that? So that... That did that, and now, if I go back and pull up Revenge of the Colon. Do we... Do we have... Do we have what we need? No, it's... Weird. Okay, now you're now you're seeing my Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, try it as a window capture instead of a game capture? Maybe. Okay, let me Alt-Tab... Let me, um, let me close Revenge of the Colon for a second. Let me, no, wait, no, that's, that's not what I wanted. Wait, hold on. Um, so Revenge of the Colon, pull up OBS. What if we, like, accidentally made it work? Oh my god, we accidentally made it work. <laughs> I did it! I don't know how, but I did it. <laughs> oh, except... Except it didn't work. No, it's it's stuck on the, the made with Unity. Um. Okay, so let me get rid of... Let me delete, um, remove. Are you sure you want to remove Revenge of the Colon? Yes, I am, I am quite sure. I'm gonna remove it from here. Remove it from my see you later. So ignore, ignore all this. I'm not, I'm not gone. <laughs> Are you sure you wish to remove Revenge of the Colon? Yes, yes, I'm quite sure. Uh, same with here. Um, so remove. Yes. All right. So hi, I'm back. <laughs> uh, so I was doing window capture. You're saying what? Which? Yeah, I was doing window capture. Um, create new. Let's go. Revenge of the colon. ROTC. Uh, capture audio, let's try that. Capture method, automatic, bit bit, Windows 7 and up, Windows 10. <gasps> Huzzah, there we go, okay. That, that I believe is what we needed. Let's do this, okay. Um, now let me, let me order this to the bottom and then we'll move it up a layer. And do some scaling. There we go. Okay. So now, now we're, now we're cooking. <laughs> did he get it to work? I did indeed, Luna. I did indeed. Um, and does it have the game capture? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Um, so now let me, let me, well, I guess I don't need it on my starting soon screen anymore. 
Uh, but let me let me pop it into be right back real quick. Uh, window capture at existing revenge of the colon. Okie dokie. And let's just move that on to the bottom. So you guys get to experience all this scuff again. Uh, and then we'll do that one more time. Look at me learning the PC in real time. That's crazy. Move to the bottom. And now, there there we go. We, we got Revenge of the Colon. That, it, it, it's just that I've, I've never, like streamed from my laptop but uh anyway make sure that it's properly yeah okay sweet we're we're we're, we're cooking for real now uh we we do in fact have real-time capture so uh here we go revenge of the colon yeah i did stream uno and, and whenever i did uno i did the same thing that i was doing earlier I was doing the window capture the way I was doing before, and it was like, it worked just fine. I don't know what I did. Also, how's the, uh, how's the game volume? Is it a bit loud? I can't, can't really tell. It's a bit loud? Okay, let me... Let me alt tab, let me scroll down, because what I can do is I can come into here. There we go. And sweet, it didn't it didn't get rid of Revenge of the Colon like I was worried that it might do. So that, that should be better now. And let me see if I can link that. Finally doing it. You're a gastroenterologist? Wow. Oh, okay, press A to continue. A specialized doctor with expertise in diagnosing and treating diseases of the digestive tract. The most common procedure you perform on patients on um, patients is a colonoscopy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The insertion of a camera deep into the large intestine via the anus. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. You have been performing colonoscopies for decades and have treated thousands of patients. Have I, though? Have I really? Also, uh-oh, I just saw that I've lost audio, it looks like. Alt-tab. Or, not that I've lost audio, but, um... Vado, uh, Vado tube got a little confused. There we go. Now it should be fixed. <coughs> You're well-respected among your peers and a regular speaker at all the important annual conferences. Uh-huh. He have seen it all and treated it all. Nothing phases you. There's nothing you cannot handle. You are the Michael Jordan of gastroenterology. Uh-huh. You do not know it yet, but this is your final week. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ew, I don't like this. This is some really gross imagery. <laughs> Please load faster. Okay, thank you. It's Monday. Lost treasure. It's been nearly 70 years since I've been on holiday abroad. And I've been watching the news about border control guards and their brutish behavior. After we arrived in Calais, we were waiting in line and I saw a horrid expression on the guard's face. It gave me such a fright that I took off my wedding ring and swallowed it. I thought he might take it from me. Eventually, we passed through the border without any trouble, although he was quite rude. He didn't speak any English at all. It has been over a week since we've returned and my ring has not reappeared. It is quite likely that the ring did leave your body and you simply did not see it. No, I'm quite sure it has not come out. My husband Harold has much better eyesight than I have and he has done all of the searching. 
You certainly have a dedicated husband, Miss Hargraves. I think we should get started. I'll give you a moment to get into position, and we shall begin. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, here's that icky, gross loading screen again. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Oh, lovely. Where are, are we? Are we in? Uh-huh. Oh, we're we're going in. Let's see what we can find. This is this is like. This is pretty gross. Hey, Colonel. I'm tunneling through an anus, and I'm trying to find a wedding band. You haven't seen a wedding band, have you? I haven't snuck around this much since the time I was in the deep jungle. And I can say I'm in a deep tunnel. Flesh objects, dead flesh, or anything else out of the colon with a warm jet of water. Ew. Oh, that's... Colonel, I don't know if I can do this. Use this instrument to scan and analyze anything found in your patient's colon. This thing's a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. The grabber, a tool for pulling objects free that are stuck on or pierced into the colon. I got a pretty nifty tool set here, Colonel. This is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty in-depth stuff. Wow. A high-powered, high-precision surgical cutting device. Colonel, I, I might rupture something. I probably shouldn't use that one. Cauterizer. No patient should be left with a bleeding colon. This instrument will quickly close wounds and stop further blood loss. Oh, it's like a laser. Uh, this is indeed. Yeah, Kyo. We're inside of someone's butthole. How does that feel? <laughs> Are you in fear of your life like I am? All right. Wait. Colonel, I'm coming up on something. It, it looks pretty suspicious. I'm gonna scan it. Let's see what we got. A colon polyp. The best treatment is to cut it out and have it analyzed. Carefully remove the polyp. Uh, I guess we're doing this. Oh, Christ on a trike. Uh, Colonel, I, d I don't know how close I need to be to cut it. Oh, I figured it out. I have to be that close. Okay, time to... Time to, to solder. There we go. Let's get this area cleaned. This is probably... The grossest shit I've ever done. Colonel, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Uh, do I have to... Do I have to, like, pull it out? What grows... Yeah, I'm indeed washing someone's butthole. Just gotta flush it away. Alright, uh... Man, remember that movie flushed away with the fucking talking rats? There they go. Yeah, that's right. Go out of here. Scram. <laughs> Alright, that's enough solid snake. Oh no, there's another one! Alright, well... Time to get our buzzsaw! This is fantastic. The truly, truly fascinating stuff. <laughs> you were wondering why I was talking like that? Yeah, it was a uh, Orca had redeemed um, Solid Snake uh, impression. Or, or no, no, Luna had. My bad. It, it, it This is technically educational. I, I cannot argue with that. This is indeed so gross. I... I really hate you for this, Orca. You know, usually I hate you for simpler things, but but you know, this that's I, I think I draw the line here. It is indeed the human body, you are correct. 
we're gonna play this and then like I'm never touching this shit again. I will never look at my own anus the same way. Like this is this is some truly truly life changing stuff. All right, so cool. I can just like kind of let it run its course. Very nice. Uh, can I not move any faster? Do I not have a sprint? I guess I'm not really in here. It's my camera and the camera moves, you know, however fast it goes. Bruh, th this is not the appropriate time to be posting Keo tail wag you know, butt shake emotes, like, man, this could be Keo's anus that we're in right now. You don't want to put that on Keo, do you? Didn't think so. Think what you've done. But I have a nice butt. You do. You do have a nice butt. Shit's pretty wild. The world's a better place because of it. But, uh, yeah, like with the context of this game, any any butt emotes are gonna be like, hmm, that's a bit odd. Can I jump? I can't jump. Why in the world would I be able to jump? I mean, camera. I'm not actually in someone's anus. <laughs> yeah, Kyo's a seventy year old grandma. Oh, oh, we're getting the uh, the cinematic uh, aspect ratio. Shit's about to get real. Oh, no, it was, a, it was a loading screen? I guess so. Man, this shit's, like, really wedged in there, huh? How far do I gotta go? You know, I'm gonna be honest. If you didn't know that this game was about searching through someone's anal cavity, you might not even realize that, like, that's what this kind of game is. So, so if you just pretend like we're not in someone's anus, it's really not that bad. It, it's honestly, I'm kind of getting used to it. I just pretend like we're we're searching through a a, a sentient cave. Yeah, they're they're anal cyst. You get them one day, Kyo. You might have to do this. Not, like, perform a colonoscopy, but you may have to get a colonoscopy. Uh, not every ailment can be treated the same way. You don't say. All right, let's, uh, let's scan what we got here. A hardened deposit of fat and calcium. It will become bigger over time, causing a blockage. It should be removed. Okay, um... So I'm gonna try the laser, maybe? Oh, yep, that that did it. <clears throat> Look at us go. I wow. I could be a uh, 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 the 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 butt doctor in the making, and you you wouldn't even know it. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a, I'm a butt doctor. <laughs> yeah, she is. She has cysts in her butthole, Kyo. That that happens when you get older. You know, as you get older, you have a harder time pooing and and getting the shit out of there, so it it gets lodged and and sometimes sometimes you get entire peppermints in. That is a whole ass peppermint, Granny. Why are you swallowing the peppermints? Wait a minute. <laughs> a hard-boiled sweet a favorite treat among old ladies across Great Britain uh can I just oh oh gross oh no <laughs> do I need to break it down I don't think that's gonna do anything let's just wash that out of here here you go, Granny. You can have your peppermint back. Don't enjoy it again. Oh, God. The sound effects for wedging that shit out of there was just top-notch. The, the sound design 
is is really something else here. Like these guys had to have done their research. Oh, we have we have something else. What do we have here? <laughs> what have what have we got? A piece of sweet corn. You have found this in thousands of patients over the years. Well, we oh, it's not even stuck in there. <laughs> we found casual corn. Just casually hanging in Granny's anus. Let's flush corn out of here. What a silly goober. Get out of here, corn. This is actually, like... This isn't even a bit. This is just fascinating at this point. I'm kind of invested in where this goes. Um... Damn. Like, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. We're through. So the corn I can just wash away. Yeah, please clip the uh clip the corn experience. We need corn out of grandma's anus. He does not belong here. I tried telling him it was a bad idea, but he wouldn't listen. And then someone please send it the corn, no context. All right, that's uh oh wait, no, that looks looks like it might be different. Is this our uh Oh no, it's our it's our regular colon polyp. Haven't had one of these in a minute. There we go, and just flush all that crap away. There we go. This is like actually disgusting, but it's it's also so fascinating. Oh, we got a we got another cinematic bar. We're going deeper. We're in the third chamber of the anus. Oh. Oh, lovely. Hey, Chewy. Look behind you after a loading screen? Why? Oh. Okay. So it it uh I guess it, it can only it can only handle so many assets in the ass at once. Okay. I, I get it. I was expecting, like, there to be a little, little dude down here with me. That would have been really weird. Could you imagine just there, there being a little dude inside of Granny's anus here? I'm not talking about corn, either. Like, like there just being a little dude just hanging out. Like, like what if we're not alone in here? Oh, did I miss something? Uh, let me, let me turn back around, flush that. Get out of here. Yeah, get get out of here. Oh, if you don't clean it out, I'll get the bad ending. I know there are like five endings to this game or whatever, which I think is excessive, but hey, who am I to <laughs> judge? <clears throat> I should get the bad ending, honestly. I want to be thorough, though. I'm a I'm a good doctor. <clears throat> All right. Um, and these need to get lasered. I am the Michael Jordan of uh, colonoscopies, uh, colonoscopist, uh, butt doctors. I, I can't remember what the uh, actual ologist name was. Uh, gastrologist? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Gastrologist. Uh, Alright, got another peppermint. Good lord, Granny. Got another uh, hardened cyst. Gastroenterologist, thank you. 
I'll say it at least... I'll, I'll say it properly once. Grandma does love her corn. Corn's gotta be, like, her favorite grandson or something. Get all that corn out of here. Uh, I need my laser. Oh, not that. There we go. The uh, the hardened cysts aren't that bad. Excuse me. I'm just like. I'm kind of annoyed at, at how far into this fucking asshole you have to go. Um, like, man, this is a really long level. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a wash first because I, I see corn. Yeah, get the corn out of here. Uh, oh yeah, that's a lot of blockage. No wonder that ring hasn't come out. Um, actually, you know what? Let me go with quite long and quite linear. I would fucking hope so. It's an asshole. That's a pretty linear port, dog. If you had, like, excessive trips and turns throughout your asshole, you might have a problem. Alright. Uh... Here we go. Get some uh, flushing going on here. Yeah, Grandma here hasn't had a colonoscopy in a while. Need that choose your own adventure colonoscopy game? Oh man, you're telling me there are more of these? Oh, God, no. No, please. Yeah, please tell me. Say psych right now. Uh, that looks new. Um, guess we'll figure out what that is in a moment. Uh, where's my hose? There we go. I'm trying to get this flushed. Get out of here. Go, scram, get. Back to whence you came. Uh, yeah, we got two more hardened cysts. Uh, there we go. That, that was wedged in there. Uh, laser. And those are both, um... Are those fucking dentures? Grandma! What the hell, man? Those are your goddamn dentures. Why are they in here? Oh my goodness. Um anyway, let's let's get this taken care of real quick. Here we go. Get that cauterized. Fantastic. Get that flushed out of here. <laughs> Grandma's eating anything she can get her hands on. All right. Uh, we got a we got another one. Wait until you see the second patient. Oh, I bet. And there are like five patients in the game, as far as I know. Oh, good. You don't have to do anything with the dentures. You just gotta flush them out. Actually, wait. I wanna scan that real quick. Uh, no, 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 no. Damn it, the dentures. Maybe there will be more. Makes you wonder how old lady. Makes you wonder how a woman this old ate a ring. Yeah. There's got to be, like, an encyclopedia of all your scan things, right? Part of the 100% uh, completion. Oh, some more corn. Lovely. Alright, get all this flushed out. Go on, get out of here. I'm glad you don't have to, like, follow it all the way back. That would be really excessive. Uh, 
Alright. Should be coming up to, uh... To the end here. You're doing fine work? Why, thank you. I've, I've practiced for decades as a doctor. Oh, and that, that's looking like a ring. We've done it. Let's get our scanner. Make sure this is indeed the ring we're looking for. See how the best handle the uh, growth here. An ancient piece of chewing gum permanently stuck to the colon. Permanently stuck, you say? Hmm. Yes, lovely. Doing Satan's work. <laughs> yeah. Miss Hargrave's lost treasure. Okay, so we've got, we got chewing gum. We can try sawing into it. Uh, it's not really doing much. Try laser it. Um, not really doing anything there. What if we, uh, what if we really grab that shit? Get out of here. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's really, uh, that's really wedged. Ah, good. I can get the ring at least. All right, time to, uh. Time to flush the ring out of here. Go on, ring. Be free of this deep crevice. The deep recesses of Grandma's colon. You're out of here. Look at the little guy go. A wedding ring inside a colon. Not a sentence I thought I'd type out today. Well, you're in luck. I've got you covered. Today was a good day. After you rinsed off Miss Hargrave's ring, you watched with delight as she slid it back onto her finger. You'll be telling colleagues, friends, and relatives about Miss Hargrave's for years to come. Good anecdotes are hard to come by. You went to bed chuckling to yourself until you fell asleep feeling happy. That was the last normal day. Oh! Oh no, this was the last normal day? Oh, the plot thickens. First an energy drink made after speckled eggs, and now this. I've seen it all. <laughs> oh, Pika. It is uncommon for someone as young as you to require a colonoscopy. But when I saw your x-ray, I was quite shocked. I could not distinguish what was happening inside your large intestine. For over a year, I suffered through a condition known as Pika. I craved and ate things that are not food. It started off harmlessly. I would eat the eraser at the end of my pencils, and I would eat small bits of paper or small bits of plastic from food packaging. I cannot remember everything I ate, but I do know I ate a lot of different things. Recently, I began to crave metallic items, and I began eating small coins. For the love of God, do not eat small coins. Uh, Christ, don't, don't do that. I've seen enough documentaries about people that ate coins, and it never ends well. Uh, so, like, as a, as a non-medical professional, uh, don't, don't do it. Paper clips, small screws, and small, and steel nails. I was hospitalized after I got uh, after I collapsed at work. Surgeons removed 30 objects from my stomach. But there are still objects in my lower bowel which are difficult to remove. And then doctors referred me to you. Uh, it sounds like you have a very difficult time. Are you still having these cravings? When I was in the hospital, I was diagnosed with malnutrition. Hi, Patches. You've come to, to witness this fresh hell? I've been having money troubles for a while and I've not been eating as well as I should be. Well, maybe if you weren't eating all your fucking coins, you wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> You'd have more money, I'm sure. Uh, doctors put me on a special diet and gave me a lot of high-dose dietary supplements. I have not had any cravings since the treatment started. That is fantastic. I wish you continued recovery. Thank you. We'll do things slowly and methodically. And carefully remove all the remaining objects from your bowel. 
So you can get back to living a normal life. You won't be a living natural piggy bank. That'll be great. Wonderful. Here we go again. Into another one. <laughs> Thank you, Luna, for the hydrate. I will uh, pause real quick, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab that. Hey, patches. I know you just laid down and got comfy, but but I need to hydrate. We're in an anus. You don't want to be dehydrated in an anus. That's like one of the worst things that you could be in. Yeah. So you go over there. All right. Uh, excuse me. The little Chewie's blinking for help. Goodness. All right. Well, I have hydrated. Speaking of Chewie, I've got him with me, too. Hi, Chewie. Hi, Patches. Leave the wire alone. <coughs> Come here. Come on. Up here. That way you're not messing with uh, the wires and things. Lay down. <clears throat> Lay down. No, get out of my face. Lay down. There we go. <clears throat> uh, so far, things seem normal. Uh, we do have some bleeding here. Let's get that cauterized real quick. There we go. Patches. Patches, I'm trying to dig through an anus, please. Buddy, I know you want to you want to you want to rub up in my face, but I am <laughs> I am so far in an ass right now. You have no idea. Please stop. Thank you. Uh yeah, that's a that's a nail. Let's scan it though just to, just to be sure. A thumbtack. Pull it out carefully and treat the bleeding. Alright. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh. <laughs> uh. Try it again. Oh, gross. Okay. Um. Get that cauterized. Uh, cauterized. There we go. Um, where's our nail? There it is. Let's get that flushed out of here. Hope it doesn't get wedged on anything because it passes through. Yeah, no, it's out of here. Oh, look, a coin. Yeah, we're in uh we're in England, alright. Queen Elizabeth's seen better days. Oh, and I can just flush that out. That's good. All right, ma'am, you got about you got about ten quid coming your way. I don't know British currency uh, <laughs> from the Peppa Pig game. Yeah, the exact the the, the very the very same one. The Queen seen worse. Uh, grody. All right. That cauterized. Get that flushed. Patches, you are way too relaxed for a dude that's witnessing someone clean out an anus. We're like saving lives over here. It kind of feels good. <laughs> the, the stretching sound does make it so much worse. You were absolutely correct. Even jiggles a bit as well. Yeah. They they like they really did the research. Uh what the hell is this? Um scan. This looks like uh 
steel shavings. Thin shaving of metal. Remove it carefully and stop any bleeding that occurs. Good lord. Work is getting off to this. Luna, that is foul. That's like so no uh, uh, no AO huh Orca you can't you can't do the lip bite no bad Holy shamoli that that's not okay Orca That's not okay Orca's a freak man over here stroking his dick. He's got lotion on his dick. He's stroking his shit, man. He's horny as fuck. Where's my hose? I need to hose Orca. Yeah, don't kink sham. You know, you're you're right. We should we shouldn't kink sham. D patches, quit chewing on the wire. Let it go. Let it go. No chewing on the wire. Bad. Bad kitty. Bad. I am trying to save a patient's life. And you're over here eating my microphone wire. Get that uh, shaving out of here. All right. Got a few more shavings. We got another coin. I can just wash the coin out of here. So that's good. Try and get that cauterized real quick. Um, oh, is, is the uh, coin maybe in the way? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Are creepy puns allowed or is it shitty timing? Bruh. <laughs> that one you get for free. You do it again. I'm timing you out. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, damn it. These getting in the way is really annoying. Oh, come on, get out of here. I wish I could, like, swap through the items a little quicker. You get punished for my bad jokes, I see how it is. No, we, we appreciate our puns here. I only jest. That's just me being a bit of an asshole is all. You know, while we're like six feet into one. And we're still in the first cavity. We love the shitload of puns we get here. Oh yeah. You bet. Man, Patches, you are really comfortable right now. Y you might be a little too comfy. Oh, hey, a piece of corn. So corn's been in two assholes today. Wow. Little dude's putting in work. Oh, lovely. A, uh, a paper clip. Corn is indestructible. I don't know. A safety pin. Pull it out carefully and treat the bleeding. Okay, so it's just like the uh, the pins. Uh, we don't need to scan it again. Let me pose that out of here. There we go. Perfect. It's, it's actually kind of amazing that most of these items made it this far to begin with. Um, oh, lovely assist. I was wondering if we would have any of those in here. 
It's not like an abundance of cysts like grandma had. So uh, that that's good. It is a younger patient, so so that makes sense. There we go. And now, uh, just double checking the ceiling here. Surprised none of this was caught in the stomach. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like the fact it made it this far. That's uh, it's kind of impressive. All right, we got our little loading area. We're going into the second cavity. Let's uh, let's turn around again. I wanted to wanted to to see what we got here. Oh yeah, yep. That's uh, just water that real quick. <laughs> okay. Clean you out, Chewy. All right, uh, Brohan. Uh, let me let me get done with this patient, and I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. But um, I, I gotta warn you, I'm not I'm not that good at uh performing colonoscopies, so you might might want to go see someone else. The moral of this game: visit your doctor often, <laughs> and have a good medical aid. Yeah, pretty much. Eating any corn recently, Brohan? Yeah, is, is corn inside you? Don't eat things metal. Yeah, like, for real. Actually, don't. This shit is insane. Um, like, I, I've seen my Strange Addictions episodes where we're like... Yeah, it'll be someone that, that they're, they're addicted to eating coins and they got, like, lead poisoning. And, um... The metal poisoning. Acute metal poisoning. And there's nothing cute about it. How's this person alive? Uh, I can tell you. Barely. Like, I would say most people that actually suffer from this condition don't get this lucky. Yeah, it's, it's exactly that. It's a shit ton of luck, pun intended. Uh, we're getting into some, like, interesting shaping of the, the colon here. Hey, Poconite! How you doing? Oh, that's a fucking nail. That, oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna scan that, just to confirm. A steel nail, carefully remove and then treat the wound. Wow. Uh, let's get this coin out of the way first. This is my strange addiction, the aftermath, the video game. I mean, pretty much. All right. Um, here goes. Oh, gross. There we go. Like that. That's just, that's unnatural. Uh, th there we go. Okay, it's it's getting out of here. Uh, that's a that's a lot of blockage. Good grief. Like this makes it even more surprising that anything made it past the uh, the wall of nails here. Good heavens. <laughs> All right, get that. Actually, I'm going to move this up with me. I'm going to flush all this kind of together. There we go. Has <laughs> her insides not hurt? Oh, uh, she's probably in a ton of pain. And she's just doing a really good job of, of hiding it. There we go, and let's get that. 
Cauterized real quick. Fantastic. Let's get some of this blockage out of here. Let's kind of kind of clean the place up, shall we? There we go. Good stuff. Uh, looks like another coin. Gonna go ahead and get that out of here. And I'm trying to, like, go as quick as I can. <laughs> she really did have a lot of iron in her diet, Villa. Um, that's not my hose. There's my hose. Alright, let's get this out of here. Man, Villa, we're in a shitty situation, but we're making the most of it. Uh, where are my, where are my grippers? Alright, and let's hose some of this out of here. Uh, just kind of looking down, making sure nothing got caught. No, it looks pretty good. Uh, most of the blockage seems to be out. Looks like another steel shaving up ahead. Really nailing it right now? God damn it. There we go, got that one, and got to get the grippies. Really come to grips with this. And there we go, got that sealed. Get these washed out of here. Oh, bye Chewy. Chewy had enough of the colon. Guess she has some nail-biting stories. Oh yeah, you better believe it. Patch Later, little buddy. Also, uh-oh. Uh, I might have... Yep, might have lost. I might for a second. Yeah, Vado Tube lost the, uh, the mic. Let me get that fixed real quick. There we go. Now back to Revenge of the Colon. My uh my computer it doesn't like whenever I move my uh devices around too much. Oh, that yeah, that's ooh, that's in there. Uh let me try grabbing from here. There we go. The hell is that? That's a, that's a new one. Damn it! Get that out of here now. There we go. What in the hell is this? Is that a battery? Madam, you do not eat the batteries. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Like, the coins were bad enough, but a goddamn battery? Good grief. Okay. There are indeed better ways to get energy throughout the day. Oh, I'm not grabbing the safety pen. Now I am. God damn it. It's really in there. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Try a different approach. Try it there. No. Damn it. Uh, yikes. 
It, it's it's really in there. There we go. Wonderful. And get that cauterized real quick. And let's get that safety pin flushed. Get some more uh, spare change. Getting close to uh, being able to afford a soft drink or a snack from the vending machine. Yeah, I, 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 I had a feeling I wasn't grabbing the right little bit there. I was having some trouble. There we go. And yeah, it's rolled out of the way. Let's get that cauterized. Uh, man, that one looks like it's really in there. No, it was a smaller nail. Okay. Man, this is like a bidet, but inside of your asshole. Oh, there's corn again. Corn cameo, corn cameo. Yeah, this wasn't the uh, collab stream that he had in mind, I'm sure. But uh, here we are. Oh, that's a big one. Yikes. I just went right past my hose. There it goes. Just one long pin cushion of a butt, yeah. Orca, what the hell is that emote? Hold up, what? Huh? Alright, yeah, that's getting out of here. Brohan, not, not the... Y'all need help. Yeah, you'll need some help. <laughs> Get all that flushed. Uh, I'm going to say that's probably the end of this... Uh, of this cavity here. And then we got one more. Uh, yep, yep. Getting the uh, cinematic aspect ratio. I need help. Got an inch that's seven inches deep. <laughs> oh no. I'm uh I'm not helping you with that one, dog. I got enough patience today as it is. Alright, just a coin. That's good. Just another coin. Oh, we got some, uh, got some bleeding going on up here. That looks like... What the hell is this? Razor blades? Ma'am! I'm gonna have to go past the razor blade for a second. Gonna try and stop the bleeding real quick. Good God. Uh, yeah, that's a razor blade. I haven't got a fucking clue what that is. <laughs> Maybe she has a hairy throat and wanted to shave? Nah, chief. Nah. This is, uh... What in the hell is this? Uh, a piece of barbed wire. Carefully remove it and treat the wound. Okay, so it's another, another grippy, ugh, gross. There we go. Forget the tetanus, how is she not bled out yet? Uh, she hasn't bled out because, well, actually no, how has she not bled out? You're right. 
Colin looking like a My Chemical Romance concert. God damn it. I feel personally attacked with that one. All right, grippies, we need you again. And we got some more bleeding up ahead. Uh, we need our grippies. Try not to sneeze. Get that washed out of here. Now let's uh let's get this cauterized real quick. Oh, there's so much bleeding. Damn it. Um, all right. That steel shaving out of here. Actually, it would be quicker to go that way. There we go. Yeah, it's a miracle anything got past these uh, damn razors. Oh, come on, cauterize. God, that took a minute. You know, realistically, I feel like just flushing these things down isn't a good idea. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely not. And get that cauterized. Oh, another piece of barbed wire. Oh, that came out nice and easy. That moved out of the way real quick. And get that hosed. And let, what else have we got here? Got a nail. Really, uh, really nailed that. There we go. Get that. Get you flushed. Need our grippies. I I want to say Orca is probably like me, where they're just like deeply fascinated that this was even thought of and made. Like this is exploring some really interesting ideas and i'm not just talking about cleaning out a butthole like this is something that real doctors have to do like not this extreme uh mind you but i mean this is something that that patients go through that doctors go through uh this isn't a terrible representation of what that looks like um there's a uh, there's some fantastical elements to the tools, but you know this is uh this is how some colonoscopies end up going. Uh, it's interesting. Is it a good game? Absolutely not, but uh, it it exists, <laughs> and uh, we're we're experiencing it for better or for worse. I did put this off for as long as I felt I could. 
because I, I was not looking forward to to diving into Revenge of the Colon. But now we're here, and I gotta say, it's not as bad as I think I thought it would be. Is this a game that I'm gonna come back to over and over again for the uh, the experience? Absolutely not. <laughs> And we should be getting close to, to wrapped up here with uh, with this patient. It's a game that'll come back to me. I hope not. Or maybe when I when I finally get my own colonoscopy, I'll I'll, I'll look back and remember Revenge of the Colon, and uh, and I'll, I'll be able to <laughs> I'll be I'll be able to tell the doctor, you know. I performed a few colonoscopies back in my day when I was a streamer. Or, better yet, I'll still be streaming in my ripe old age of, you know, 69 and getting a colonoscopy. And, um, and then and the doctor will, will say, well, actually, funny you should mention that. Revenge of the Colon is how I learned to be a, <laughs> a gastroenterologist. What if uh what if I got my colonoscopy streamed? How crazy would that be? Like like what if I what if I ask the doctor like, hey, can I can I have this footage? Can I can I share it on Twitch? I'm not overstepping, am I, Doc? Is that a damn shotgun shell? Bruh <laughs> What? A shotgun shell. This must be removed very, very carefully. Uh, I don't know if that goes against terms of services. Um, so, like, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to hit this thing with a laser. So let's, let's just flush that out of here. Because, uh, let me guess, that thing... Yeah, the thing hasn't been fired off. And, uh, oh, we're, we're, we're done. Whew! That's, uh... That's two patients down. <laughs> That's not how you play buckshot roulette. God damn it. <laughs> you really made a difference with today's patient. It has been a long time since you've removed so many dangerous things from a patient's colon. You feel satisfied to have improved someone's life. To celebrate, you enjoy a large pizza with your wife and fall asleep watching old TV shows. Wow, what a what a lovely evening. Oh, I really hate these load screens. Wednesday, hidden cargo. I've been a fisherman for almost 17 years. Every day I go out to sea and return with that na with what nature gives me. Everything I eat comes from the sea. Oh, actually, no, that... It is cold, lonely, and often a dangerous life that requires a lot of strength. I... Mm. Yeah, I think a solid snake kind of gruff is what this guy needs. Recently, I feel like my strength is being slowly sucked away. I become tired before I pull in the first catch. I feel hungry all the time, even after eating a big meal. I'm losing a lot of weight, which scares me the most. I've always been overweight. But in the last few months, my weight has gone down by over a third. I'm worried I'll waste away to nothing. Uh, you said that everything you eat comes from the sea. Yes. Are you eating fish straight from the sea without cooking it? Yes. It is so fresh that there's no need to cook it. Well, various species of parasites live in the flesh of fish and other sea organisms. It is possible that you've ingested some of those parasites and they are the cause of your problems. 
but I've eaten like this for many years and have never had a problem. People with parasites may not always show symptoms until the parasites are large in number or in size. It can take a while for them to grow and reproduce. I suppose you may be right. I do get weird feelings in my gut sometimes. I feel things twitching and moving about. Moving about? Yes, the feeling I get in my guts reminds me of what I see every day. A writhing pile of fish. Oh, I'm sure it is nothing like that at all. But there's only one way to find out. Make yourself comfortable and we shall begin. I'm, uh, gonna bring in my little boy Roy. He's gonna watch this one. So, uh, he's, he's gonna be a colonoscopist too. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, huh? Can you get can you get parasites in Metal Gear Solid Three? <laughs> um, no, but I think you can make Snake like sick. I know he'll vomit after eating some things that he shouldn't, um, or if you don't like prepare it properly. I, I, at least I I seem to recall that. A uh, Kermit the Frog impression. Wow, we're uh we're deep inside of not Solid Snake, but but. Fisherman snake here, trying to, to clean him out. I'm uh I'm not really qualified to be a colonoscopist, uh, a, a gastroenterologist, whatever you want, whatever you want to call him. Usually, I just like to hang out in my swamp and play the banjo. But uh, the the doctor stepped out and he, he said, Kermit, it's imperative that you you uh take over for a while. So uh, here we are. It's it's not easy being green. It's not easy being a gastroenterologist either. My uh, my face is pretty flush as I try and try and help this patient. I'm over here trying to save lives. So let's see what we got here. Deeper in, looks like a, another cyst. We're gonna need our buzz saw tool. Let me get that ready. Whoa, that's a. That's a big hardened cyst right there. All right, get that, uh, get it all flushed out of here. Actually, oh, uh, you know, next time I see one of the, the little green blobs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what that does. This one where I need the, uh, the laser for it, I think. Yeah, those are, those are pretty easy. Get all, get all that out of there. You can feed soldiers poison food too. Yeah, that, that, that sounds about right. Cause you can go like non-lethal with uh, with Metal Gear Solid Three. Wow, this stuff's really stubborn. Why aren't you, uh, why aren't you flushing out of here? Why, why is this not flushing away? Get, go, get, get out of here. You don't belong here. Get out of here. Go on, get. Go on, get. You're not part of the Muppets cast. Go. Skedaddle. Be gone. Uh, let me let me hose some more of it down. There we go. Uh, that's the uh that's the good stuff right there. <coughs> Alright, uh this is the thing that I wanted to scan. I wanna what what are you? What, uh, what interesting tidbits can we learn about you? It appears to be a piece of excrement, but not from a human. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, we gotta, we're gonna get that. Where did that one come from? Wait a minute. Oh, are, are there more? Is there something on the ceiling? Oh, God. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kermit the Frog. Uh... Oh, that's, um, that's a hard incest. We just need to, or, no, never mind. That's, uh, fish poop? Oh, okay, I thought it was from the, the parasites. Man, this stuff, uh, really doesn't want to flush. 
All right, it's getting out of here. That's that's good. Ugh. Oh, oh, lovely. Well, we uh we found the source of your problem, sir. It looks like some kind of unidentified aquatic blood sucking tick. Kill it and flush it out. All right. Uh. Are we sawing through this bad boy, or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're sawing through it. I wonder if I can laser them to death. I'm gonna find out. Oh, yeah, that works, too. That's actually pretty good, because then I can immediately go to cauterizing. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> that's, uh... That's what I always say. To make sure we get all of their excrement and um, body parts out of here. Don't want those staying in. Lovely. This is uh this is giving me some uh some half life vibes with the uh the head crabs. Yeah, Luna, I am I'm not a fan of this either. <laughs> the uh the ticks are really Really ticking me off. There we go. And let's get that flushed away. That's a lot of... A lot of stuff to flush. Oh, nope. Need all of you to get out, please. Go back to our laser... Let's get another one popped. Beautiful. Oh, there are so damn many. Why are there so damn many? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is, uh, <laughs> this is not okay. Key Christ. Yeah, this is, uh, this is body horror to the max. Get that nice and flushed. Come on, all of you, get out of here. There we go. Almost. You, hey, buddy, you need, you need a hand? Where's my grippy? There we go. You get out of here. Okay. God, there are so many. This is, uh, this is vile. Why is that not cauterizing? Oh, gross. All right, let me get that flushed a bit. There we go. Okay. The farther you go, the more show up. I feel sick. Yeah, this is uh this is not not good. Also, um I I probably should have opened this stream with like a trigger warning that like there's going to be body horror and shit. Uh if if at any time you need to like skedaddle out of here, I do not blame you in the slightest. All right, really make sure that gets out of here. Oh, Christ on a trike. Every time I turn around and see how many there are, I'm like I I'm somewhat invested though. Like that's it, it, it's it's a bit of a problem. I like I want to see where this story goes.
Because it's supposed to be getting weirder and weirder, right? Like, like I feel like something's going to happen. Because they, they said that was it was going to be my last weird day. It was with Grandma swallowing her ring. All right, we're we're starting to to get through the last of the ticks in this area. I'm gonna need a uh a, a hefty hefty dosage of Fortnite after this. I'm gonna try and flush as much of this out of my memory as I can. Also, I was expecting to get, like, I don't know, Steam achievements for, for completing this shit, but, um, so far I haven't seen any pop. Hello again, DeBrohan. Well, welcome back. Are you, uh... Are you enjoying yourself? Is this a game that you always wish that you could watch the one and only Chewy Coffee play live on Twitch? There's only four achievements? What are they for? Oh, Patches, good soon height. You little sneezy boy. You okay, buddy? You alright? Aw. You only got one for finishing the game? The rest are hidden? Oh, lovely. Yeah, show all your coworkers. Tell them this is like an actual live streamed colonoscopy. The the graphics are, are so so crazy realistic. Like you can't distinguish this from a from a real anus. Hi, Patches. What are, what you doing, buddy? Huh? What you doing? Let's get all this out of here. Oh yeah, we're we're leaving. We're leaving a good bit of junk back here. Let's get all that flushed. Hey you. There we go. You love the twitching leg, it's a nice detail. That's one way to put it. I think what's more miraculous for me is nobody's unfollowed as a result of playing this. <laughs> Hi, Patches. No, leave the mic alone. I'm trying to clean ticks out of a man's anus. And I forgot one. Oh, goodness. Let me turn back around. Yeah, I missed one. Also, yeah, I probably missed something to flush. Uh, but let's get this tick first. That could have been bad. Michael Jordan would never do that. You're right. I, I should turn in my megastorniologist license. I, I'm not worthy of the uh, the title. I am trying to work around my cat right now, though. So, like, he's he's gotten himself in the way. Alright. I think I got the thing that I missed. I think we're, we're nearing the end of the first chamber. Which is the worst part, that this is the, the ending of the first chamber, not, you know, the end of this patient's little story. No, we got, we got two more crevices to dig through. Who knows what other shit awaits. Really flush all that out of here. Don't want to leave anything unflushed. Uh, grab my, my laser, note flusher, get another piece of excrement, get out of here. 
There we go. Done. Whew. That's chamber one. What fresh hell awaits in chamber two? Just gonna go ahead and get my uh, handy dandy laser ready. Oh, no. Gonna need the flusher first. Oh, Christ almighty. What the hell is that? Oh, buddy. Pal, I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. What, what are you? What kind of larval BS is this? A parasitic blood-sucking worm. It's best to remove it before it can breed. Yet, no kidding. Uh, so we got more of the, uh, more of the, the pulling action going on. Do I need to kill it too? Uh, laser doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's already bred. We just gotta get them out of here before they breed more. God, that there's so damn many. Uh, can I saw them to death? Can can we kill them? No. Can we laser them? Try that one more time. Can we just flush them out? No, they're really wedged in there. We gotta we gotta pull each one off. Lovely. Oh, I don't like the little mouth at the end. Yeah, wait, I wanna I wanna get a good look at that. Oh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's uh that's a mouthful of teeth. Hey little fella. Yeah, we're getting you and the homies out of here. Uh, there's so many. Disgusting. <laughs> and just get these little, little fellas flushed out of here. Later, little guys. When <laughs> the HLP Lovecraft that I come back to. Uh, parasitic Worms, AWR. We got little parasitic worms. We gotta pull them all off before they can breed. Oh, hi, Keo. Yeah, you, you've come back to the parasitic worms, too. Yeah, this is, uh, this is indeed foul. Alright, and... Get uh get all that flushed out of here. Straight out of your nightmares? Tell me about it. <laughs> Let this fucker die. They're a walking biohazard. God damn. Let me go ahead and allow that. Uh-oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, two drink men. Uh where where are my where are my grippers? Oh yeah, lovely stuff. Get a couple of those pulled off. Thank you, uh, Orca, for the hydrate. It's good to stay hydrated when exploring the bowels of an individual. Uh, so I guess we're going with the Carl Weezer impression. Um... I gotta be real with you, Jimmy. I don't think I like this experiment of yours. It's a pretty shitty situation. There aren't any llamas. And I don't think that your mom's gonna want to talk to me after I finish this. So, all in all, I guess you could say Carl Weezer's pretty Carl fucking pissed. But, uh, hey... 
what are you gonna do, right? Just gonna saw into this little heart cyst. Gotta get that lasered. We, we need it nice and cauterized. Jimmy, I'm gonna be real. This is worse than the episode when I got butt pregnant. If I had a nickel for every time that got brought up in a chewy coffee stream, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. In the same week, mind you. <laughs> Try not to sneeze. And I'm also trying not to be completely disgusted by these worms. <laughs> well, I failed at the not sneezing part. Oh, goodness. Get out of here. Thank you for the Carl Weezer redeem. What the hell are those? Huh? Oh, there's more. Lovely. Your spider eats these? Whoa. I'm falling <laughs> and the not being disgusted. <laughs> what is it doing in her butt? I fucking love that Automod's like having a field day with butt asshole and fuck right now. If, uh, if we can get that one allowed too. Any uh any mod that can that can allow that one real quick for me. I need to get this uh the scanned real quick. What the hell is this? What are you? A sharp piece of fish bone. It is best to remove it before it can do some serious damage. I'll uh, I'll get that allowed myself. There we go. Good lord. Yeah, that's a that's a fish bone. So we got we got fish bones now. Oh yeah, yeah, mobile can be a bit picky on what it shows and what it doesn't. I got it. I got it, though. Yo, good lord. <laughs> Even boning? <laughs> Lamau. Oh, no. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh, so I've accidentally added boning to my blocked terms. Um, that's... I'll have to go and fix that after the stream. Cause uh, we we do we do the occasional boning in here, but boners allowed. Wow. Okay. You know maybe boners one that I already let pass. And AWR with boned. You can't bone in Chewy's chat anymore. <laughs> Why is this not cauterizing? Hello. There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, what is that? What the hell is that? Also, let me go ahead and allow that. Not gonna slip and, uh, hit deny. Oh, good lord. Oh, that is, that is foul. This is, uh, this is not good. Not good at all. I'm gonna have to get that scanned. I'm, I'm curious on what the hell that is. No, I don't think that's an egg, homie. I think that's, like, another organism. We're about to find out. An egg sack. Oh, no, it is an egg. Okay. That looks to be full larvae. Remove it. <laughs> Remove this to prevent further infestation. Oh, and it's, a, it's another pull-it-off kind of thing. Wonderful. Okay. Well... Wow. We will do just that in a moment. The fact that you called it makes it so much worse, yeah. Maybe, uh, 
maybe you have a future in in uh, gastroniography yourself. Gastroniology? Yeah, there we go. No, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, gross. Oh, I didn't like the way it like came at me before it before it got out of here. Uh, I'm trying to get this cauterized. There we go. Now we're now we're getting places. Do I need to destroy the egg sac before we before we go forward? Oh Jesus Christ, you do. Oh, that is that's nasty. Oh, yep, yep, that's fucking phenomenal. Okay, let's get all that flushed out of here. There it goes. And let me uh let me grab the let me grab the grippies real quick. Really come to grips with the worms. There you go. Get that cauterized. Uh, let's get these worms flushed out real quick. There's some big ass worms. Man. Oh, and there's so damn many. There are so many. The way that they, they scream, that's not normal. Worms don't scream. This is forever gonna be stuck on your streaming track record, Chewy. Oh, I'm I am well aware. I uh I know there's really no no going back after this one. It's uh I'll never be the same. Should have made a colon PNG for the for the occasion. No, I'm I'm good, cheap. That would only delay it further. Oh, uh, we gotta be getting near the end of uh this little track record here though the man famous for his colon stream no no don't please I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be famous for this if this gets like record views though I I might actually retire <laughs> All right, that's the worm I was looking for right there. Let me let me pull this up, and then uh, let me let me get this cauterized, get those little bad boys flushed away. There we go. Oh God, got another egg sac to get rid of. Swear so if the next OP you gotta fight a spider. Like it's grounded, I'm going to scream. Uh, I didn't see an arachnophobia mode in the settings when I was scrolling through, so um, I don't know. I feel like they would... The, the developers, they aren't monsters, surely. They would let me have an arachnophobia mode for all the uh, arachnophobes in chat. You'll see... Oh, Orca, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, man. Is that the uh, laser? No, that that needs a saw. You know, in a way, this is kind of like Power Wash Simulator. It's not too dissimilar. I was I was trying to think this entire time what game this made me think of. And it, it's it's power wash simulator. It it's kinda like power wash simulator. It falls within that same kind of category where it's like 
low stakes, chilled, relaxed game. Uh, that that's kind of simple on inputs and in player, uh, player uh, task. So it it's not too different from that. I would go so far as to say, if you enjoy Power Wash Simulator, you might find some some semblance of enjoyment out of Revenge of the Colon. Uh, I, I think I might be coming around on this game. Now that I've given it another perspective. Huh. Funny how that works. <laughs> Please, no, stop. You're not doing it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. But, like, it's just like Power Washing Simulator, for real, for real. Just a really, like... It, it's like, if Power Wash Simulator was a PlayStation 1 body horror game, it's the same exact thing. There you go. Like pulling hairs. Yeah, sentient living hairs. And they occasionally scream when you pull them off. Alright, uh, I need the buzzsaw for this one. There we go. And cauterize that real quick. Beautiful. Alright. Not a word that I thought I would be saying in this stream, but uh, there you have it. I have just said beautiful while playing Revenge of the Colon. Oh my god, that is so many worms. Oh good, that one that one's already taken care of. Um, okay, let's just get that flushed out of here. Get that egg sack out of here. Uh, get all this hosed away. Whoever thought up this concept needs help. Uh, no, I think it's it's in a uh, kind of sick and twisted way, kind of kind of genius. This is probably the closest we'll get to a uh, colonoscopy simulator. And they went about it in, like, an artistically unique way. The uh, the PS1 kind of graphics that helped making the sequel. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, but, like, the, the PS1, like visuals kind of styling that that's pretty neat i do appreciate that I, i've always did, dug uh this kind of aesthetic <laughs> that one did a fucking flip um like like this makes me think of the uh the bloodborne demake fishermen are built pretty different they're 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 kind of nuts uh, I just got done reading Ernest Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea, and it it, it is indeed about an old man who's off at sea, and uh, yeah, dude is legit, like, built different. Dude's all by himself out in the ocean, and he, he wrangles and fights with a, uh, 
a, uh, a like a 2000 pound Marlin. What prompted this? <laughs> uh, so I've got the, I've got the backlogged game redeem. Our, our friend here, the Orcadian, uh, redeemed Revenge of the Colon after gifting the game to me on, uh, on Steam. That's how it came to be. I'm not here by choice. How long until we see the magic school bus? Uh, I don't know. Whenever we, uh, we go through a salmon. I still remember the episode of the magic school bus where, like, they got nut on by a salmon. And, uh, Miss Frizzle was like, she's totally cool with it. Like, yep, this is, uh, this is normal. I do like the dinosaur episode. I need to go back and watch that one again. They had a Magic School Bus had a really fun dino episode. Or dinosaur centric one. Oh, I missed a worm. Oh shit. Glad I turned around. That could have been bad. All right, patches. I'm taking a sip of water real quick. Got to lean over you. <laughs> how uh how much further in do we need to go? Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. On to the uh, third and final chamber for our fisherman friend here. We're at the uh, we're at like the two hour mark. Not too bad. What uh what 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 do you think awaits us in here, everyone? Oh, it's uh it's another egg sack. Awesome. <clears throat> so let's get that out of here real quick. Oh hey, a piece of corn. Aviation facts I get to pick. Awesome. I'll uh I'll get that going in just a moment. We make sure all that's flushing away. Oh, nope, of course not. Get out of here. Scram. You don't belong here anymore. We are reclaiming this anus. This was the uh, reclamation day that Fallout was talking about. It was actually about a colonoscopy, not reclaiming the nuclear waste. <laughs> Okay, uh, that feels like a good little little respite. I'll, I'll leave you with the beautiful visual of uh, this egg sack moving around. Patches, I need you to move. Because it's aviation facts time! Woo! What, uh, what have we got today? Ooh, a fun one. <laughs> the, uh, the Grumman TBF. Intended to replace a TBD Devastator in the role of a carrier-based torpedo plane, the Grumman TBF Avenger made its debut in combat during the same event in which the old Douglas monoplane dramatically left the scene, in June of 1942, during the Battle of Midway. It was not a successful debut. Of the six Avengers that took part in the action, five did not return to the aircraft carrier Hornet. And in addition, the attacks on the Japanese naval squadron did not produce one hit. Nevertheless, this initial failure was fully redeemed by the aircraft's subsequent career. The large and heavy Grumman torpedo plane eventually proved to be one of the Navy's strong points during the last three years of war. In all, 9,836 came off of assembly lines in numerous versions until June of 1945, and after having distinguished themselves in both the Atlantic and the Pacific, many of them remained in frontline service until 1954, during 
Uh, during World War II, not only did the Avenger fight bearing the American insignia, but also those of the British fleet air arm, which uh, used 958, and New Zealand. After the war, they served in Canada, France, the Netherlands, and Japan itself. <laughs> I wonder if this is what Ant-Man would have experienced if they went with Plan B in Endgame. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> If you know, you know. The project was launched on the eight, uh, on April 8th, 1940, when the U.S. Navy ordered both from Grumman and Chance Vought two, uh, two prototypes for a new carrier-based torpedo plane, designated XTBF-1 and XTBU-1, respect, uh, respectively. Although they had no previous experience with this particular type of combat plane, the German technicians fully exploited the company's long tradition of building naval fighters and exceeded in creating a prototype uh, that was far superior to its rival. Its maiden flight took place on August 1st, 1941, and it was a large, all-metal, mid-wing monoplane with retractable landing gear. A crew of three was foreseen, and the aircraft could house a torpedo on the equivalent weight in bombs in its hold. As for the defensive armament, it was planned to install 12.7 mm fixed machine guns in the front of the fuselage, another similar weapon in a dorsal turret, and a 7.62 mm flexible machine gun. Uh, the aircraft was powered by a 1700 uh, horsepower right radial engine, uh, driving a three bladed variable pitch metal propeller. The Grumman's test flights were followed by a series of evaluations conducted by the U.S. Navy, which ended in December on January 3rd, 1942. Or, which ended in December. On January 3rd, 1942, the first TBF-1, which formed part of the initial order of 286, came off the assembly line, and by the end of May, a total of 85 aircraft had been delivered. Despite its rather unsuccessful debut, there was soon a growing demand for the aircraft and consequent production of the Grumman factory, which built 2,293 TBF-1s, was supported uh, by that entrusted the Eastern Aircraft, a division of General Motors, which built the aircraft on license with the designation TBM. In the meantime, the original project had been developed further following the construction of the XTBF-2 uh, prototype in the spring of 1942, uh, fitted with a more powerful engine, the TBF-3 variant was built. It was fitted with a 2,000 pound uh, or 2,000 horsepower right cyclone engine, uh, and was characterized by notable improvements, especially in its bomb capacity. This version was produced exclusively by Eastern, uh, which completed 4,664 and went into service from April 1944. The British Royal Navy received 222, which went to equip the units based on the aircraft carrier's formidable, illustrious, uh, indefatigable, and victorious. The last Avenger was the XTBM-4, in which the wings and fuselage were, were reinforced, although it never went beyond the prototype stage. The two major production variants were produced in numerous subseries, transformed in various configurations. For photo reconnaissance, for night tracking with infrared equipment, for passenger transport, for target towing, and for anti-submarine tracking and attack. Sorry, I missed the aviation fact. Can you repeat it? Uh, no, but the VOD will be available for two months, so you can go back and watch that one. <laughs> anyway, that was your aviation fact. Thank you, Brohan, for that redeem. And uh, also... Thank you for uh, the reaching a three stream streak. Look at you go. Ah, take a sip of water. Needed that. And now to get back to uh, clearing out this shit. Let's uh, let's get this egg out of here. <clears throat> Thank you for the hydrates. Goodness. Wow, that's a uh, that's a lot of hydrates. And uh, another one, just for good measure. Look at you go. <clears throat> uh, will this be a YouTube vid? I uh, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'll wait and see. <laughs> uh oh my god! You've got to be fucking shitting me. Hi. 
Hey, pal. What are you? Hello. An aquatic blood-sucking glouse. This cannot be left in the colon. You don't say. <laughs> Christ almighty! Oh my god! Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is not okay! Brother! Oh my god! No fucking way! Orca. Hey, Orca, buddy. <laughs> Why is Bite Off blocked by Automod? <laughs> anyway. That Bite Off and replace a fish's tongue? Uh, they, they might be. I don't know much about uh, aquatic parasites. But, um, oh, this is just, this is foul. Like, it was already foul, but it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, so Bite Off got flagged because it, it falls into the category of sex words. Uh, like what? You're gonna come in and like bite off a dick, bruh? <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't like this either, Luna. <laughs> it, it grabbed it again. Are you kidding me? Here we go. <laughs> bite off this. <laughs> You got auto modded. It'll be okay. Oh crap on the st Oh god damn it. Oh there's so damn many. There are so damn many. Oh god, there are so damn many. This isn't okay. Oh, God. Oh, we got to get all this crap flushed out of here. Goodness gracious. Here you go. You get, you get a little shower before I chainsaw you to death, little guy. <laughs> You're right. It's the same parasite. Well, damn. You're eating lunch while you watch this? Oh, God, Brohan. Like, I made it a point to play this before. No, 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 no. This is the uh, this is the third chamber, if if I'm not mistaken. I I think we're I think we're in the third chamber. Can I grab the dude? That's wow. Yeah, I think I think this is the final one because the uh, the second chamber was the one that had the uh, the uh, the parasites hanging uh, the the worms. You don't gag or anything, man. Brohan's built different. Yeah, Brohan's just built different. Kind of. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is foul. I think we're nearing the end, though, of uh, of this patient, at least. Eating parasites for lunch. While watching this. Yeah, I, I can believe you. <clears throat> I don't like the way that they scream. Like, that's... That's not okay. I don't know. Would, would, like... Would you guys want to see this? Make it... Oh, Jesus Christ. Are those hooks? And is that a fucking fish? 
Would, would, would you guys want to see this appear on my YouTube channel? Like, do you want this archived? Yeah, Luna, that's a damn fish. That's a fish. And it's got a little worm and it's... Nope, uh-uh, nope, nope, we're not. We're not, we're not entertaining that. What the actual hell? What the fuck is up with this fish, dude? I don't like this. It, it, it's, it's alive and it's fucking crying like a baby. What the hell, Orca? Explain now. What the hell is this shit? I, I, I'm trying to put you down, little guy. Oh, Jesus. I, oh. Oh, you just flush it out. Just flush it out. Okay. No, you're 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 out of here, fish. Get out of here. Why are you crying like a fucking baby? Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. You you go away now. You go away now. It's a cool game. I don't I don't know about that, dog. I don't know, Chief. I might have to ban you from using uh, the, the game recommendation in the future. I don't think you can be trusted with picking what game I play. Oh god, there are more fish. You should have accepted Luna Owl. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, Luna, imagine if it was you playing this shit. Oh, there's so many, so many hooks and more fish. Oh, and they're crying too. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Okay, bye. We're getting you out of here, little fella. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nope. No fish for me. Oh, this is, this is so messed up. Why? He's hooked on this dietary lifestyle. Here we go with the puns again. I was wondering where they'd gone. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, you know, let's get that solderized, cauterized. Let's get these hooks out of here. So I can get this one. Looks like you're moving downward. But everything flows down past you. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah. No, the uh, the orientation of the colon here doesn't make much sense. I've heard fishermen have it tough enough that they can chew on nails, but this is ridiculous. Yeah, like the hooks and everything. Like, it's a repeat of the lady that we just got done operating on. Like, it's just her again, but with hooks. And now we get the, uh, the added bonus of, uh, of fucking crying fish. You've heard of flying fish, but have you heard about crying fish? I mean, Luna, for what it's worth... That I, I'm, I'm finding enjoyment out of this only by how bizarre and, like different this is oh god no please fish just get get out of here go scram skedaddle no bad like that is certainly a design de a design decision like man i'm not like enjoying this but I'm more like, I'm intrigued. Like, what the hell else awaits? <laughs> They're swimming downstream now, thanks to me. Oh, man. That's, that's certainly a way to look at it. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, get these get these hooks out of here. Uh, yeah. Part of me wants to say at least it's not parasites, but I'm saying that like fish crying like human children is somehow better. All right, fishies. Your turn. Get out of here. Go away, please. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. I hate it here. Actually, wait. No, there's a there's a fish right there. Let me let me get you flushed out of here. Did it get stuck on something? Wait a minute. Huh? No, I think I think it's gone. It's out. Okay. Oh goodness. And I thought the worms were bad. Alright, get that hook out of here. Uh is there more? Are we done? Can I go home now? Oh, what the what what is what is that? Oh, it's a it's a clam. Mother of pearl. Yeah, I gotta I gotta scan this. Hold on. You gotta see what kind of kind of value we can get out of this. A perfect pearl. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, the uh, sucker's in there pretty good. Oh, we're just gonna flush it out of here. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're just gonna leave the clam. Wow, that was that was a trip. You've never seen a parasite infestation as bad as this. The biological waste bag that contains the extracted parasites undulates as it sits on your desk. The fisherman was shocked to see what came out of him. Perhaps we will cook his food from now on. He left your office looking a bit shocked and weak, but you knew in a few hours he would feel much better. You send numerous specimens to a lab for analysis. Perhaps you've discovered a new species. At home that evening, you sit with a Latin dictionary and look for interesting words to use for new parasite names. Your wife cooks you spaghetti, but you cannot eat it without retching. Instead, you sit on the sofa and eat ice cream from the tub. Imagine if on the loading screen you could see everything that you washed out. Ugh. You hope tomorrow will be a boring day. But it won't be. Damn. No, that would, that would be pretty foul, AWR. I'm, I'm glad that that's not the case. Thursday. Meat. Oh, I don't like that it's just called meat. You can probably tell by my appearance that I enjoy eating food. My job is to write about food in restaurants. Though I would not class myself as a critic because I'm rare, rarely disappointed by food. My favorite type of food is barbecue. I have written more words about barbecue than any other subject. Oh! You look like you're in a severe pain. Yes, the pain is my in my bowels. It's terrible. It's as if my bowels are getting excited at the prospect of move more food and demanding that I eat. 
That's not exactly how it works. But I can feel it. I can hear it. I hear something in my mind demanding more food. It grips me more within and knows that I am in pain. The pain stops when I give it food. It controls me. I cannot say that I've ever encountered any symptoms like these in the medical literature, but I can see you are suffering and I want to stop it. I think we should get started immediately. Thank you. I think they might have swallowed the devil themselves. Oh no. Oh, what fresh hell awaits now. <laughs> hell of a bad time? Tell me about it. Alright, I got my scanner ready. What uh what what do we got here? So far everything's clear. That's that's kinda ominous. Uh huh. Yeah, we're getting a ways in. Still still nothing. Oh oh my god. Yeah, this is the uh this is the fourth patient. Why are there why are there eyeballs? Now we're getting into like Eldritch Horror territory. A human eyeball. What? That appears to be rooted inside the colon. Remove it so it can be analyzed. A human eyeball. I... I didn't see that one coming either. Let's, let's get it nice and washed first. Let's, uh, let's get you removed. Oh, oh, he's, he's not coming. Wait a minute. Oh, buddy. Hey, pal. We, uh, oh, okay. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we need to figure out how to get one removed so that we can analyze it. Um, perhaps saw blade? No, no, not the, not the saw blade. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gross. Well, well, well. Oh, okay. Um, what if we, what if we saw it? Will that help any? No? Oh, boy. Um. What if we, like, flush it really, really good? Uh, yuck. No, we, we might just have to... We just might have to destroy these. I don't know if we'll be able to, to extract them. Why did they move, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, there's more. Oh, shit. We've, uh... We've caused it an incision ourselves. Damn, imagine if he could see through those. Orca! Orca! Bro, what the hell is wrong with you? You know, it would be nice if the one who played the game told you what to do, Orca. <laughs> It, 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 excuse me? Is that a fucking tooth? A human tooth growing from within the wall of the colon. Oh. Oh, that's... That's gross. That's... Oh, man. 
Oh yeah, that's that's uh that's normal. Yep, that's that's totally normal. Nothing to see here. I've heard of eating gas, but this is just foul. Good lord. <laughs> that's a good one, AWR. That that might be your best yet. I hate you for it. But but you've done well. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. Get out of here, Tooth. We gotta make this dude toothless. Insert toothless dance now. <laughs> now you peaked. It only gets worse from here. Oh, no. It's been getting steadily worse throughout the, uh... Throughout the game. There we go. There's there's our little boy. There's there's our boy Toothless. Look at him go. What a what a what a what a happy fella. He's he's just glad to be here. Automod really doesn't like you today. Automod gets uh pretty picky. I have my I have my uh moderation set a little bit higher than I think most people do. Can I, like, extract the tooth this way? No. No, I can't. Uh... Yeah, I would, I would say so. I just making sure I haven't missed any eyes on the, uh, the ceiling. No, looking pretty clear. Oh, uh, this is so incredibly weird. Orca, I hope you're satisfied, by the way. Literally doing this for you. And my life is worse as a result. I am? Oh, good. Wonderful. At least our little fella is happy. It's like the one time I appease you. <laughs> Uh, I don't like the way the eyes pop. I, I I seriously wish there was a way that I could extract an eye, because we we need to we need to analyze this. How is this happening? Why is this happening? All right, get those teeth flushed out of here, man. Oh, yeah. No, that, that's lovely. And this is our fourth patient, first chamber. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Here's some more. Uh, get that extracted. Ugh. And flush that away. Oh, yep, yeah, we got some more eyes coming up. And let's get that cauterized. There we are. And flush that all away. Oh, we do have some more eyes. I wonder... No. Uh, 
There's got to be a way to extract it. Otherwise, why would why would it have the like extract instruction in the uh Are we like straining the eye the more we pull on it? Wait a minute. Or was it always that red? Yeah, I think it was always that red. You never could figure that out. Hmm. You just exploded him? Well, damn. And you got the good ending. Okay, well, that's what matters to me, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep getting him. Give it Lasix, yeah. Well, I thought with, like, the laser... You you would need to to like maybe maybe cut the uh the root of the eye and then you'd be able to remove it and um flush it down intact but no matter how much i try that it doesn't seem to work and then i tried sawing at the root and that, that didn't work either <laughs> we don't have to wonder if this one actually chews our food. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're we're in for some more surprises the deeper we go. Uh, is that no? Oh, a piece of corn. I was wondering when we would see one. So they do eat some normal stuff. Man, corn's been in like all of our patients today. That's a uh, that's a reference that might have gone over my head, AWR. I don't think I was there for the uh, final dream in Darkwood. Uh, also, wait. Make sure nothing got caught back there. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. It's an amazing game. I've heard really good things about it. Alright, and get those teeth out of here. Ugh. And are we done with the first chamber? Oh my, we are. Highly recommend it. Also a great game to stream blind during October. Hell yeah, nice. I've already got my uh, my spooky coffee lineup kind of picked out. Are these like Teratoma? Uh, I have no idea. Is that a fucking ear? Huh? What's uh what's the dealio with the ears? Can he hear me like navigating through here? A human ear growing inside the colon. Remove it from the colon so it can be analyzed. Uh well. Guess we're sawing through these. Yep, we are. And same as the eyes. It seems we just have to destroy them. And then, unlike the eyes, we need to uh, cauterize. They're a bit more attached. Ugh. <laughs> Why do the chunks look like blue cheese? Bet you won't see your salad the same way after this. 
The music is so atmospheric. Oh, man. What if I laser the ears? Does that do anything? No, that doesn't seem to do anything at all. You already loathe blue cheese. <laughs> I had a blue cheese mac and cheese with, uh, with like, chicken... Uh, when I was in Washington, D.C., and that, that shit was pretty poppin'. I, uh, I enjoyed that mac and cheese very much. Very flavorful. Yeah, macaroni. With the chicken strips. Ah. <laughs> Macaroni with the beans, what the hell? Speaking of what the hell, oh, we have fingers now. Great. I was wondering when we'd get to the part where they finger the anus. Oh, lovely. What uh what's the story with the fingies? A human finger growing inside the colon, break it off and flush it out of the colon for analysis. Oh, oh lovely. We can indeed rip off the finger. Good. Finally, something to to look at in the uh, in the analysis chamber. Oh, uh, yep. There we go. Okay. Let's get that cauterized real quick. As with that, it is finger looking good indeed. Hey, can you cauterize? There we go. And let's get rid of that eyeball up there. I don't like the way that they look at you when you, uh, <laughs> when you, um, laser them. Yep, get those fingers out of here. Oh, we got another ear. Mmm, <laughs> fingies. Nothing like fresh fingers in, uh, in your rectum. Gonna say this reminds you of something? Can't quite put your finger on it? God damn it. Thank you, the Orcadian. That might be the new peak on the, the puns. Ugh. Oh, talking about the, um... Uh, shit, what is it? Centaur? That, uh, it showed up in, like, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, and then it got cut from Fallout 4. What you mean? The, the Centaur's whole shtick is body horror as well. Trying to figure out what spawns next is a real nail biter. Yeah. No, not the centaurs. From the Amazon show. The uh, Myrlurks weren't in the show. The only The only creatures that showed up in the show, like directly, were were ghouls. Um and then there was uh Trying to think what else was there. 
giant thing in the lake. Oh, the uh, the the big like axolotl salamander thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I I think it was supposed to be like loosely based off of the um. Uh oh, what were they called? Swamp lurkers, from uh from from um, Far Harbor and Fallout Four. I was surprised that no uh, super mutants made any appearances in the show. The second season got greenlit though, so we'll, we'll be getting more. Like, uh, there there was a Deathclaw skull, but that was the most that we got of a Deathclaw. Yeah, the, the show is fantastic, AWR. If you like Fallout, like, even just a slight bit, it's really good. I, uh, I finished the show last night. And, um, it was, it was so worth it. Like, as far as, uh, video game adaptations... Or in this case, continuation of um, like like in the form of a TV show. It's one of the the better ones. Like the only other one that really comes close, I would say, is uh, HBO's The Last of Us, and it's a it's a straight on like reinterpretation. You watch two uh, two episodes every week on your server. Nice. Speaking of servers, uh, thank you for the reminder. We do have a Discord server. I'm going to drop that Discord command. So anyone that uh, that isn't in there, if you feel like uh, joining in on the Discord fun, there's an invite link for you. Uh, the Cyberpunk anime? Oh, yeah. No, Edge Runners was good, too. I've just... I've never seen it. Um, and I, I don't have Netflix, so I keep forgetting that it's a thing. And then, like, I guess you could also say Sonic the Hedgehog, the, uh, the live-action movies that just came out late within the last couple of years uh they they do a really good job of like making the new interpretation a new version of the media it's a lot better than the attempts at making like a tomb raider movie that's for sure <laughs> I don't, uh, I, I personally don't Yarhar Diddly D, uh, just cause I have a background in like film production and stuff. And I have a little bit too much respect to the studios to go and, uh, Yarhar Diddly D their work. But I, I get for some people it's, uh, it's a preferred method of, of viewing media and there's nothing wrong with that. Just, I personally choose not to. Same with, uh, video games. Like, I don't... I don't, uh, Yarhard diddly D the, uh, the video games. Uh, so many fingers. Sonic Prime series is where the magic is. I I've heard good things. I I've heard that it's a lot of fun. Um, like, I really liked what they did with Sonic Boom. I thought that that was a really good way to turn, uh, a rather unpopular iteration of the characters in video games into a more, like, tolerable and likable kind of iteration with the show. And its self-awareness was refreshing, too. Uh, is that another piece of corn? Yeah, it's another piece of corn. I'll, uh, I'll get caught up on that in just a second, AWR. Uh, is someone holding a degree yourself? You can respect that. Um, you think of it more of it as a necessary evil, you won't touch smaller stuff, like has been. But I'll overlook it if it's one of the movies. Uh, like, like, big movies. Got you. Uh, 
Uh, looks like another ear up ahead. Yeah, that's another ear. Oh, no, I need the hose. There we go. You still think that the uh, the cursed Sonic was a PR move? Oh, uh, talking about the uh, the original iteration of Sonic from the uh, that first trailer. Because uh, I I'm like somewhat inclined to to agree because it seemed a little too like they were really quick on coming out and saying like oh we're we're gonna we're gonna redo it all. Uh, but it didn't really push the release date back that far, so I'm, I I would I I would agree that it was probably a, a way to get buzz around the movie, because otherwise it's like it's Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog hadn't had a very good like game release in in the last like couple of years leading up to the movie, so they really wanted something that would like get attention and get buzz. And what better way than to put out an incredibly messed up Sonic the Hedgehog design that they know nobody would be behind, uh, and then come in swiftly and be like, hey, we listened, and look, we fixed it, uh, to give yourself, like, some, some synthetic, you know, uh, positive, positive buzz. Yeah, yeah, like they would have to have a massive crunch to to turn that around that quickly. Like it's not a simple Is that a fucking heartbeat? Oh, I don't like this. Uh it's it's not something where you can simply just like flip a switch and it'll re-render like it doesn't work that way. There's there's so much rendering involved that has to go into it that... What is that? What is that? God damn it. Now what? What are you? What are you? What is this? A large inhuman tooth that is growing from inside the colon. Okay, I see. Oh, lovely. So now we're getting into, uh, these aren't his teeth anymore. Something, uh, a little wacky is going on here. Uh, I also have a theory that Resident Evil Village was originally meant to be a remake of 4, but the lack of positive reviews with 3 changed the story. I, I'm not, I'm not well versed on, like, the newer Resident Evil games. I just know that 1, 2, 3, and 4 got remakes. And then, uh, there was that one Resident Evil, I think it was Biohazard, that, uh, was, like, the first totally first person like shooter kind of horror game from Resident Evil and it made the rounds but uh otherwise I'm not I'm not that familiar with Resident Evil so I don't I don't have a horse in that race And I, I didn't think that 
like the Resident Evil 3 remake was that bad. It's just I think a lot of people had an issue with how short it was. But wasn't the original Resident Evil 3 pretty damn short? The remake was missing content that was in the original? Oh, okay. So they made it shorter by leaving out stuff. Short version is uh, Village and Forest share a lot of similarities. And the biggest problem people had with Village is writing. And out of everything in the game design, story is the easiest to rebuild. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if rebuilding story is the easiest thing to do. It's kind of hard to rework a previously, like, written out story or plan without delays really, really pushing back on a game. There is kind of short, but you had a lot of options in terms of alternate routes and areas you could explore, which the remake was lacking, and uh, Nemesis was way more aggressive. Takes so long to turn back around. <laughs> So far, this has been, like, all teeth. There hasn't been anything else in here. This is getting very weird. Alright, we gotta be nearing the end of the uh, second chamber here. Oh, the heartbeat stopped. Why, why, why'd that stop? Oh, nope, there it goes again. That's a itty bitty tooth. Hey, little fella. Let's get you yoinked out of there. Alright. Uh, pretty sure that's the end of this chamber. I don't see anything else up ahead. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Hey. Sup, little fella. What, uh... What the fuck are you? What the hell are you? Oh, it's a dude's head. He's got another him growing inside him. It appears to be a small version of our patient's head. It is growing from within his colon, and it is demanding food. Well, I, I hate this. We had to put it out of its misery, right? Thank you to drink. <laughs> Why does it look like a hot dog buns from sausage party? God damn it. Why'd you have to remind me of that movie? 
Oh, goodness gracious. Get out of here. No, no, yeah, yeah, keep keep going. Yeah, get get out of here. Was that the end for this patient? I I didn't I guess I didn't realize that we were in uh in the third chamber for that patient. Wow. Or did they only have two? Thank you, Orca, for the hydrate. There's nothing in the medical literature that explains what you just saw. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> like, golly, there was nothing normal about that. But after it was all over, your patient's demeanor had changed completely. Your patient stood up straight with a big smile on his face. He thanked you profusely and left your office looking like a new man. You cleared the rest of the day's schedule and went home early. You went to your wife to your favorite park for a nice stroll. Afterwards, you both sat on a bench by the lake and fed the ducks. You are glad tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is indeed Friday. What fresh hell waits on Friday? Oh, man. Friday. The blockage. Okay. Well, we have a new patient. Uh, I'm trying to get a good look at them so I can give a, a good kind of impression. My bowels feel very strange and uncomfortable, like I have something stuck inside me. And the problem has become worse over the past week. I hope it's not a tumor or anything like that. I felt perfectly fine until a week ago. Uh, tumors take a lot longer to grow, as do polyps and similar problems. I'm less inclined to believe that you have something growing inside you. We won't know until we look, but it may be food-related. Do you chew your food sufficiently? Yes, of course. I've mostly eaten soup in the past week. And peanuts. I work in a circus with elephants and I have, have access to a lot of peanuts. Uh, do you eat an unusually large quantity of peanuts? Only a handful or two per day, I sort of constantly nibble on them. Are your bowel movements unusual? My bowel movements are perfectly normal as far as I can tell. Though in the past week they have been smaller in size, which I find concerning. My food intake has not changed. Very strange indeed. I think I shall lube up my instruments and dive right in. Be gentle. Always. What uh what an interesting uh setup. Guess we're gonna find out what's in this guy's ass. Okay, so far looking normal. Let's have our scanner on standby. Uh, so far, yeah, looking like a normal cyst to me. Get our, uh, get our saw blade ready. Yeah, so far, so far normal. <laughs> Thank God, a regular patient, am I right? <laughs> oh, it looks like we got some, uh hemorrhaging up ahead it's uh what is, what is this here would be funny if the last one was completely normal oh actually wait a minute what are these are these uh are these little peanut bits or are these just broken up cyst polyps 
An undigested peanut. It looks harmless, but it is best to flush it. Okay, so yeah, just regular, regular peanuts. Okay, so far, so far nothing unusual. A uh, little bit of fecal material uh, to be expected with some, uh, some, some blockage. Oh, that's a, that's a larger peanut. Okay. Kind of odd that he's eating the peanuts whole. Are peanuts just as sturdy as corn? I, uh, I don't know. Speaking of corn, we, uh, we have a piece of corn here. So corn has officially made it in all of our patients. He's been in them all. This is, uh, this is very straightforward. I, this is, this seems a little too easy. When, when, it, when, when's it going to get weird? I'm not a nut guy, so is eating the shells normal? No, not typically. No, it, you most would. Uh, the the shell of a peanut is actually quite hard, especially like boiled peanuts, like you would get at the uh, circus. So like you would you would crack them open. Um, eating them whole like this is not normal. No. What a lot of hemorrhaging. Uh, Probably a result of the the hard, sturdy peanut shell. Oh, that is a... There we go. I figured its shells would be a good source of fiber or something. Oh, it'd be high in fiber. Um, I don't actually know. I don't think the shells are. The, in fact, the, the shells may even be somewhat toxic, so you may may, may not want to eat them at all. Um, I'm not really big on peanuts. I just like peanut butter. Like, I'm not even that big on uh, peanut-flavored candies. Again, it's it's very strange how normal this has been so far. Oh. Oh wait. What what the hell? There's a door. Why why is there a door in this man's anus? Why Why the hell did it open? Okay. Guess we're doing this. Why did my nozzle turn all the way around at me? Um, okay. Apparently, you can use the shells for, for much. Cat litter and charcoal. Yeah, no, peanuts have, like, a ton of uses. They're, like, kind of famous for how many uses people have found with peanuts. Life has many doors, Ed boys. <laughs> I haven't thought of Rolf from Ed, Ed, and Eddie in so long. Oh, lovely. Uh, is this a sharpened peanut shell? Uh, wait, I had my scanner. There we go. Uh, a thing embedded in the colon. How did this get here? Remove it and flush it out. Yep. Say less. Got you covered. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of fangs. Okay, it's getting weird. We had a door. Yep. Now we, we got fangs. So something is in here, perhaps. I, 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 get, I get a strange feeling that we're not alone in here. <coughs> Is that a is that a peanut? Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a peanut. Okay. Uh, we got a couple more fangs. Get those 
yoinked. There we go. Get our cuttering laser. Well, if how back in the day so many people had theories that Rolf and Dexter were from the same country, <laughs> which in Rolf's case is Romania. I guess I never knew that our Rolf was from Romania. Was that, like, actually confirmed in the show, or... Or was there, like, a design bible that, that said he was from Romania? But is that theory stemmed from them both having, like, Eastern European accents? Or somewhat Eastern European, like, esque accents? Oh, that thing was really in there. All right. Uh, get these flushed out of here. It's still looking like a normal peanut. I'm, I'm like, I'm waiting for a peanut to like turn around and it'll have teeth and like a face or something. Also, it is, it's very quiet. And now it's not. Oh, for fuck's sake. You've got to be shitting me. Okay. Well, hope you guys like clowns. We found where the fangs are from. And it's from uh it's from Chuckles the fucking clown here. You know what? This time, uh, next time, I'm 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 gonna have my fucking saw ready for his ass. Cause a uh, laser seemed to to not bother him at all. I've heard that some people having a thing for clowns, but this is next level. Nah, I don't think people have a, a thing for clowns here. This is like... This is cutting into that that clown phobia, whatever, whatever you call that fear. I know it's got like a more proper name than clown phobia. That's, that's just funny to say though. Ugh, man, dude's been taking chunks out of this guy for a while it seems. Oh, for fuck's sake, is that him coming back? I can, like, see movement. Yep, yep, there he is. Alright. Alright, Chuckles. Damn it. Trying to save this man's life. You're not making this easy. He must know that I'm going for the saw next time. And uh, I, I guess with the uh, with the clown present here once again, like hey. Trigger warning, if you don't like clowns, the exit's that way. I understand. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the fucker to, like, rush me. Oh, nope. On to the next chamber. I, I can faintly hear... Yeah, I can faintly hear the music. <laughs> This has got to be like our final boss territory. Is is Chucklefuck the clown here? Hey, hey, Chucklefuck, come here. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's right, you fucker. Get the hell out of here. You don't belong here. Also, the uh, saw blades, definitely the way to go. Look at all these worms. At least they're not attached. They're, uh... They're coming off pretty easy. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, you're scared now, aren't you? Yeah, come on. Come on. Come at me. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do without your eyeballs. This is so grim. Speaking of grim, <laughs> who remembers Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? Can you believe this was based off a true story? <laughs> oh man, I believe it. Come on, you you fucker. Let's take that other eye. Let's say you do without that. I bet you didn't know the game was gonna have a boss fight. I I, I kinda had a feeling that it would somehow try and end with a boss fight. Did I think that it would be, you know, a sentient clown living inside of our, our last patient? No. There was no way in hell I could have known that. Uh, I, I thought it would be, like, maybe a, a giant... Giant uh, uh, parasite, like, from the fish level. Uh, clown. No, that was not on my bingo card. All right, we're we're coming up on him again. Let me guess. I got to take his nose. Yeah, there he is. That yep, yeah, that's that's our boy. But we got to go for the nose now. Alright. Uh, get these worms cleaned out. Just another day on the job. No, we need we need all these worms out of here, please. Okay. What a what an interesting boss battle. But we we've saved another man's life. A triumphant end to a challenging week. All of your patients went on to make a full recovery. Oh good. The medical research community was thrilled with all the data and specimen you provided them with. But you felt you had researched your peak of your profession and decided to retire. You occasionally give guest lectures at all the important medical schools and conferences around the world. Life is peaceful and you devote your time to your family and your hobbies. You live out the rest of your life in happiness. 
the end. Wow, we and uh, my my overlay blocked it, but a uh, happy retirement. Fucking revenge of the colon. Wow. Orca, you're banned. Thanks for coming by, everyone. <laughs> oh God, that was a that was a that was a very interesting game. That it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I gotta I gotta say that again. It just got really weird. There were some points where it got really trippy, like the the fish crying like babies, um, the the fucking clown at the end. Uh, that was all. All of that was was pretty interesting. I, I gotta say, um, is this a game that I I'm gonna like play over and over again? Absolutely not. Now this bit can be retired. You finally got some unlucky son of a bitch me to play that game live on twitch and you can find the video up on youtube as well it'll be uploaded in like six months from now so merry christmas this will be the the christmas upload <laughs> uh but i have been chewy coffee you guys have been great thank you all so much for those that uh that stuck around to the end uh thank you everyone that that came by and lurked thank you for the redeems it's it's been a fun stream. I might be back again a little bit later this evening. I'm going to go eat some lunch. Um, which is a surprising thing to say after witnessing that monstrosity of a game. But I'm going to go get some lunch. Uh, my appetite hasn't been totally soured as a result of Revenge of the Colon. Uh, <laughs> but um, let's, go, let's go take a look at our raid list. Who have we got? You know what? We haven't raided Yoden in a while. Let's go raid Yoden. They're playing uh, Last Epoch. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. But let me get that started. And uh, let me alt-tab out of this. And um, let, me, uh, let me go over to OBS. And uh, I will see you lovely people later. Uh... Yeah, I will see you you all later. <laughs> Take care. Have a great day. I may be back. Well, uh, I'll I'll post on Twitter, of course. Till then. <laughs>